Understanding Flee Someone, a guide for English language learners. Hello everyone. Today, we're going to dive into a fascinating English phrase, flee someone. This phrase is not only interesting but also quite useful in understanding certain aspects of English language and culture. Let's explore what it means, its origins, and how to use it in conversation. Stay tuned to learn more about this intriguing expression. Flee someone is an idiomatic expression in English that means to deceive someone in order to take their money. It's often used in contexts where someone is tricked or swindled out of their money unfairly. For instance, if a person is charged an unreasonably high price for something, they might say they were fleeced. The origin of fleece someone is quite literal and dates back to the practice of shearing sheep for their wool, fleece. In historical contexts, taking a sheep's fleece was a way of getting something valuable from it. Over time, this idea of taking something valuable evolved into a metaphor for cheating someone out of their money. To understand how to use fleece someone in everyday conversation, Let's look at some examples. 1. I can't believe the mechanic charged me $500 for a simple repair. I feel like I've been fleeced. 2. Be careful when you shop in tourist areas. Some vendors might try to fleece you. These examples show how the phrase can be used to express a feeling of being cheated or overcharged. There are several synonyms and related phrases that convey a similar meaning to fleece someone. These include swindle, cheat, scam, rip off. Understanding these synonyms can help expand your vocabulary and comprehension of similar contexts. I hope this video has helped you understand the meaning and usage of the phrase fleece someone. Remember, idiomatic expressions like this one add color and depth to the English language, making it richer and more vibrant. Keep learning and exploring, and you'll find yourself becoming more and more proficient in English every day. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.